Many people think that the more often you work out, the better. Is it true? In this video, I'll tell you about what will happen to your body if you start working out every day. So, watch the video till the end. It will be interesting. Let's go. Some athletes believe that everyday training is effective and beneficial as the mass grows faster and the muscles become stronger. If you work out more than four times a week, the nervous and skeletal systems will be damaged. The speed of nerve impulses will be low, which will lead to a decrease in the strength of muscle contraction. You will feel a breakdown and psychological fatigue. This can lead to injury and other bad consequences. The claim that too hard and frequent training leads to active muscle growth is a myth. Muscles grow during rest after exercise, and during training they tense up and require recovery, so you need to work out smartly and without fanaticism two to three times a week, especially if you are a beginner. The minimum and maximum recovery times vary. A person needs at least 24 hours to rest and gain strength for a new workout. If you are a beginner, it takes at least a day to recover. If we talk about the maximum recovery time, the figure of 72 hours, that is three days, is often taken as the basis. Do you prefer heavy weights and work out large muscle groups intensively? Then your body will need two to three days to recover, but you should not increase the rest period. This will reduce the effectiveness of your workout. The number of sets and the duration of the workout are important parameters that you should pay close attention to. For beginners, it is best to start with one or two warm-up sets using light weights. This technique is ideal if these exercises warm up certain muscle groups. After warming up, you can perform several hard sets. Experienced athletes need to shorten the warm-up time as much as possible in order to quickly adapt the muscles to the upcoming loads. The most effective muscle training is possible when the program is selected by the trainer in accordance with the level of training of the person and other factors, gender, age, weight, and so on. The working out of all the muscles of the body is achieved by a combination of cardio loads and strength training. Strength training tones all the muscles and corrects the proportions of the body. Cardio exercises strengthen the cardiovascular system and help burn the maximum number of calories. And even though strength exercises don't burn a lot of calories, they can significantly speed up the metabolism. To get the most out of every workout, you need to eat right. Include complex carbohydrates in your menu, legumes, potatoes, and cereals. And then you should again give the body a small amount of complex carbohydrates in combination with protein. Eggs, fish, cheese, cottage cheese, lean meat. You should have a snack two hours before training and one and a half to two hours after. It's not recommended to eat a lot one hour before training or immediately after the end. If you have planned a light snack, you can start training in an hour. The number of workouts per week should be determined in accordance with the initial level of fitness and goals. For most people, three to four workouts per week is acceptable. During breaks, it is important to give proper rest to the muscles and nervous system. Try to listen to your body so as not to overtrain. If you have set goals and want to train five times a week or daily, try it. But you can only do your best at intense loads once or twice a week. Fitness experts advise beginners to train two to three times a week and focus on a comprehensive working out of all the muscles of the body in each workout. Experienced athletes should work out more frequently, three to five times a week. In training, they should work out all muscle groups. And the days when the load is more intense, alternate with days of rest for recovery. If you want to keep physically active every day, we recommend light workouts. This can be, for example, exercises or a short run for five to ten minutes. However, this light physical activity is not meant for muscle growth. It is for cheerfulness and your good health. The intensity of the workout and the amount of time for recovery depends on the size of the muscles. That is why it's not worth combining the working out of large and small muscles because they will need different loads and time to rest. We advise you to allocate separate days to work out large muscle groups in order to get an effective result. Small muscle groups like biceps, triceps, shoulder girdle, and others recover faster after intense workout, so they can be trained more often. 
Please note that the working out of large muscles often requires the involvement of small ones in the work. We train the chest, the biceps turn on. Keep this in your mind when drawing up your training and recovery plan.